Well, we previewed them last night, and today the UK school games got underway across Tyneside and Wearside. 1,600 youngsters competing across 10 sports until Sunday, and we sent Mark Tulip out to get a flavour of what's been going on so far. However well organised a multi-sport games is, you can only hope and pray that the sun will shine. Well, it did, and one former sports minister thinks this event, now in its fifth year, can only benefit the next generation of stars. It's set just like the Olympics. You know, whether it's fencing, whether it's table tennis, whether it's cycling, we try to replicate what it's like. Why do we do that? To make sure that these young people have that experience, hopefully, when they go on to compete for their nation or GB in the Commonwealth or as nations or in the Olympics as GB. Plenty of warming down for the cyclists on a pretty sultry September afternoon in Leeser's Park next to St James's. But such is sport that some of the elite young competitors fared rather worse than others. It didn't go too well. Um, I was in like the front of the group and then we were coming down the hill and around the corner and it, I just got pu pushed out into the gutter and just like three of us came down. And so I've got like a bit of a scar. All oh, right, and, like, so, so that meant the end of your race, presumably. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. In the darker, cooler surrounds of the Badminton Hall, competition just as fierce with plenty of flags and the colours of rival home nations but a general feeling that this Games is the biggest most of the competitors have encountered in their fledgling sporting careers. The opening ceremony was amazing, to be honest. So, I don't know what a Commonwealth Games and Olympic Games would be like. 2012 might come too soon for most of the competitors here, but expect a few at least to appear on a podium like this before too long. Mark Tulip, BBC Look North. Lots going on, so lots to look forward to. But, of course, at the moment, we're enjoying fantastic...